going to sleep was long before it was a reminder of that nothing I had was real, excluding my father's love and family. I'm gonna tell you my life story of where I've been and where I am at this point. I am a former addict and before I was a former addict, I was an addict. Before I was an addict, I was a normal child who went to school, a child to his parents, and it so happened that things happened to me at a young age that brought me hatred and anger, which led me to take away that was destructive and self-deceiving, a way that got my parents heartbroken, if I could say. As I was growing into my teens with my anger and hatred, I decided to be a rebellious child, a type of person a parent wouldn't want for a child. But I would say every teen out there wanted to be, which is doing whatever you want, whenever you want, without any real consequences at the time. Not knowing that consequences of life will catch up with me as time went on. So I did at all. I, I lived a life of drugs, nudity and alcohol until the girls were no more and the alcohol wasn't there to ease the pain. So I was left with drugs, which made me an addict. And being an addict meant losing everything I had, even my son, even my son. So a time came where I had to choose and that time was January, the time was January 23rd, 2020 when I had a lot of drugs on me and a little bit of money. So I did what I do every day, I smoked my life away not knowing that that was the day I was gonna OD. But lucky me, as I stand here today, God didn't call me on that day. He just showed me that there's a life for me to fight for. So when I woke up from my OD, I was still alone in my room. And I woke up with the thoughts that I have to be a better man for myself, more, most importantly. So I went to a place called Kosab, right here in Mamelodi, and I still attend Kosab to this day. Three years in recovery, two years sober, and because of that program, I'm fighting to have a better life, for a better life, and I'm fighting to get my son back in my life. Although I know that I brought him pain, especially in 2019 when I almost lost him to drugs actually he somehow found drugs and he ingested them and he ended up in ICU for three weeks which destroyed me and really killed me to a point where when he came out social workers suggested that him and his mother leave me, so we got separated. And from that point, my life just went south. That's when I went to live in Mamelodi East Pretoria dumping site until my sister came to find me. And even at that time, I, I wasn't ready to be where I am today because after what she did, I still went back to drugs until I found 
it in myself to forgive me and find the strength to want to be a better person and live a better life for myself not anybody else but me so hence i'm here today telling my story as a survivor of many other things and i hope that the story can help somebody out there to do better <laughs>